Hello, it's Dr. Sarah Walton here, and this is a soul writing exercise, a meditation exercise that I've created especially for the soul bliss journey. And the soul bliss journey is a journey towards the soul bliss writing retreat. It's a retreat that myself and intuitive soul guide Tanya Ho deliver on an annual basis at the Muse Flower Spa in Thailand. It's part of the Soul Bliss retreats and Soul Bliss retreats um, happen all over the world, but this is especially for the journey that we're taking towards the Soul Bliss retreat in Thailand. And this year, we're not sure because of the pandemic, whether we're going to meet in person in 2020 or 2021. But in October 2020, we are definitely going to deliver a mini online retreat. So whether you come and join us on that or not, you are so welcome to join us on the journey towards it. And this is a taster of what soul writing is all about. For those of you who don't know, soul writing is a method that I created 16 years ago after I had a brain injury and I could no longer write and I couldn't speak English properly either. Um, and it was a way for me to start writing again. And I found a way through using meditation and some of the tools that I had available to me in the journey I'd taken in my life to that point so that I could come in direct contact with my imagination and intuition. And that's what I want to give you a taster of right now. So if you could have please with you a notebook, a pen and get some paper. And if you could also find for the next 15 minutes a safe, quiet place, you won't be disturbed. And if you could also get comfortable. Okay, so we're going to begin and I'm going to guide you on an inner journey to your field of infinite creativity. So this is a soul writing exercise of your field of creativity. I look forward to seeing you in your inner world. So I invite you now to come with me and close your eyes and connect to the breath. And the breath is our vehicle into our inner worlds, profoundly powerful and always working for us, whether we are conscious of it or not. So become very aware now of your breath, moving in and out of your lungs. And I invite you to follow the breath and just notice whether today your breath is shallow or if it's deep. And if it's shallow, I invite your breath to deepen and to slow down. So making the inhalation longer, deeper, imagining the breath reaching all the way down into your diaphragm and expanding your belly. And you might like to place your hands on your belly now and experience your belly moving out and then squeezing in like a bellows or a balloon as you exhale and slowing the breath down. And on the next inhalation, I invite you to imagine now that the breath is moving all the way to the tips of your toes so that you imagine on the inside of your body that the breath is filling up 
your legs, your ankles, filling up your feet all the way to the soles of your feet. And on the next exhalation, let go of any tension you may become aware of in your body. Let it go with a big, long sigh of the breath. And I invite you to connect now and imagine that in the center of your chest, inside, there is a light, a beautiful golden white light and it is shining and expanding in the middle of your chest every time you inhale and exhale. And every inhalation, this light expands further and further into your being so that you are being filled with white golden light. Imagine this on every inhalation. And imagine the molecules and the cells and the spaces in between being filled with beautiful, radiant, calming, golden white light. Now I invite you to, on the next exhalation, let go, just for this short period of time, any identities that you hold. Mother, daughter, partner, writer, carer, teacher, Therapist, healer, cleaner, doctor, let them all go. You can imagine that you are taking them off like a garment of clothing and hanging them in your closet. You can put them on at the end. Stay connected with the breath, now being the breath. Bring all your conscious awareness to the breath and the white golden light. And I invite you now to come with me on a journey. And to imagine in your inner consciousness, in your mind's eye, that you are approaching a beautiful yellow gate. And all around this gate, are beautiful roses, beautiful pink and white roses. And I am next to the gate and we look into each other's eyes and we know each other and I want you to know that you are very, very safe. And I open the gate for you, for this is your field of creativity and abundance, and only you may enter. I am the gatekeeper. And so I open the gate slowly. And as I open the gate, you can see there is masses and masses of golden light in this field that is flooding out towards you. And it's like a magnetic energy which is drawing you towards your field of creative abundance and you very much want to enter this field it feels like home and you can smell the roses on the other side of the gate and i invite you now to gently and slowly walk through the gate
into your field of abundance and creativity. And as you're walking, I'm going to say a few words and you can just keep your focus on the breath and the light in the center of your chest. These words will fall into your mind and you can just focus on walking barefoot on this very, very soft, comfortable, mossy, springy grass beneath your feet. For there is a pathway beneath your feet and you are walking on it. I am love. I am peace. And I invite you to look around you now. And on both sides of this beautiful mossy path are masses and masses of roses and orchids and daffodils and tulips and every type of flower that you could ever imagine. And you can smell the sweetness. And as you look up into the sky, the beautiful turquoise sky, you can see there are birds, beautiful golden and silver birds, tweeting and swooping and singing their soul song to you. And you stop just for a moment to listen to the birds. And it is a language that in your heart, in the center of your chest, this light somehow understands. Their soul song speaks to your soul and your soul can understand the frequency of love and abundance. And they are very happy that you are here. And I invite you now to walk further into your field of abundance, noticing through your senses what does it feel like on your skin? The air is warm, but not too hot. It's pleasant. There is a very gentle breeze, which makes your skin feel like it is alive. You feel more and more relaxed as you walk through your creative field. This is your field of infinite creativity. I am infinite possibility. I am abundance. I am home. I am safe. And up ahead of you now, you can see that to the left of the field, there is a beautiful pond. It's surrounded by rushes and ferns and bamboo. And the bamboo is swaying in the, in the breeze. And you feel like you'd like to go and lay down by the pond and watch the fish just beneath the surface who are swimming. And so you walk off the path now through the flowers, enjoying the smell of the roses. And you sit down next to the pond. And you notice very close to you the most beautiful flower you have ever seen. And you notice that there is something very, very special about this flower. For this flower is glowing, beautiful pink light. Bright, bright, magenta, fuchsia, neon pink, almost as if it is lit up 
by electricity, but you know that is not possible. For everything in this space is very, very pure and natural. And all of a sudden, the flower says to you, what is your deepest desire? What would you love most in the world? And I will give it to you. And you realize that this is a very unusual flower. And the flower says to you, things are not as they, as they seem. Things are infinitely creative and so are you. And the flower asks you what you would like more than anything in the world. And the flower then says to you, I am your gift from your field of creativity. So you may take me back with you. And the flower is all of a sudden magically in your hands and you bend your head and you smell this beautiful pink flower. And as you breathe in the sweetness, it smells like roses, beautiful roses. As you smell this smell of rose, Damascus, you take this smell deep within your soul. You breathe yourself back into your body in the place that you are sitting. And please reach down now and picking up your pen. Please describe this flower. Please describe the experience of walking through your field of creativity. What did it feel like? How did the breeze feel on your skin? Picking up your pen Describe through your five senses, how did it smell? What did the flowers smell like? Describe the sounds of the birds when they sang their soul song to you. How did it sound? Describe what you saw, the colors, the light, Describe the flowers. Describe how it felt touch. How did it feel to feel the grass beneath your feet? Write it, describe it. Keep writing. Just a few more moments to jot down any notes. You can write it up after we finish this session in more detail if you like. But jot down how the pond was when you looked in it. And maybe you want to capture the conversation that you had with the pink flower. When the pink flower asked you, what is your deepest creative wish or what do you want? What did you say to the flower? Write it down. And when the flower arrived in your hands, what did it smell like? To smell it deep, deep within yourself and bring that smell back with you. And I always, always encourage people to bring back a souvenir from their inner journey, from their soul journey into their outer world. 
So you might want, like I have, to find yourself a pink flower or an image from the internet of a pink flower and to place that image somewhere you'll see it, whether it's your screensaver on your computer or your phone or whether you put a pink flower next to your bedside table so that you can see it regularly to remind you of your infinite creative abundance. So now to finish up, I invite you, if you would like to share what you wrote with me, to email Sarah soulwriting at gmail.com or you can contact me via the Soul Writing website or you can contact Tanya via the Muse Flower website which will be on the links just below this video. And you can now put on your identities again, mother, daughter, writer, cleaner, you can put them back on. But know that you can come back anytime to the breath and know that the experience of being and connecting with your infinite creativity in your field of creativity is always available to you whenever you want to return. Thank you. And please do continue to write up the details of your soul journey.